Hello guys, welcome to another lift video. Um, it's the second one I do. I was really impressed how many views I got with the first one and how many comments, how many likes. Um, that was really cool, so that's why I decided to make another one. Uh, so I'm still doing the, the express drive rental with Maven. It's going pretty well. I really like this car and I like the way that everything's been working out. But now in Boston is an option to rent with Hertz and it's only $50 and it's free mileage. The car that I use for lift. Yesterday I got a flat tire. I'm having them come and tow the car. It's just gonna be easier for everybody if he comes and tows into a Chevy dealer. It's also the day that I'm supposed to return the car today. And the guy's coming to pick up the car in any minute now. So at least it happened on the last day. So then I'm gonna drive, have to drive my own car today. That's gonna suck because my car drinks so much gas. But anyway, I've been just cleaning this car and cleaning my, my own car all morning, just waiting for the tow. <laughs> There he goes, bye. There goes the lift car I used for two months and it was great while it lasted. It just works out better if I have it um, in full the car. All right, the car is off my hands. I got this really cool driver though. He um, this is actually Uber Black and uh, we all talked about it. Here's my car today. That's the car I'll be driving tonight for Lyft and Uber. This car drinks a lot. So let's see how that goes. See how that goes because whenever I don't get a ping for Lyft, I get a ping for Uber. Last night was pretty good. I did like 20 rides with uh, Uber, and I think I did eight with Lyft. Oh, look at that! Six minutes away. I um, just got my Lyft jacket here. Yeah, I completed a thousand rides this week. I got my jacket. Um, it fits pretty well. So yeah guys, um, this video is basically to show you guys that it's worth it to use a rental. I did a rental for a while, but I had to stop doing it because it was really slow here around the holidays. But now it's February, it's getting busy again. I should go back and get the rentals. I'm gonna do that anytime soon. I, I'm enjoying um, using my own car and doing both of them. I know it's not very good because I'm putting a lot of mileage on my car, but that's all right. But I have a very important thing to tell you guys. If you guys wanna rent with Hertz, the website, the website is gonna let you uh, rent for the same day. Don't go there for the same day. Put it in for like next week and then go get it next week or in a few days. Last week I put it in to rent the car for the same day because the website let me do it so I thought it was available. So I got there, I did, my name wasn't even in the system yet. Luckily I went there to cancel the reservation so I drove my own car there. Because if I had taken a lift to go there I, I was going to have to take another lift to go back home. That was going to cost me the total of about 40 to 60 bucks. The website with Hertz sucks. But anyway, the rental is a good deal. The customer service sucks because nobody picks up the phone, uh, nobody answers by email. They need to get the website together or a lift has to put their own website they need to do something because it's not really good at least here in Boston I don't know how it is in other places um, so I can't say much so I'll be getting a car return soon at the beginning of this video I said that I really I was still using it at the time I recorded that yeah, I was um, and then I got the flat tire like you saw that that was so it wasn't the last day with the car so I just returned it I got so many questions on that first video that I made I answered all those questions so you guys can ask anything you want below don't forget to give a like go and subscribe if you want to see more videos I really enjoy making these video so that's basically it guys you know have a good day and drive safe out there